Tonight, months after the Hawthorne Lane Bridge project finished, many people expected headaches to end, but those living nearby say it hasn't. Well, neighbors say there are safety issues that they've tried to address for months, but no actual progress. All tonight, Fox 46's Derek Dillinger is live along Hawthorne Lane. And Derek, there are multiple issues out there, right? Yes, in fact, one of those issues is along the bridge itself. More on that in just a second, but there's also the issue with some street lights here along Hawthorne Lane. In fact, when we came out here last night, we noticed quite a few of the lights here were still out months after they were put in place. As you can see up here, some of those lights are still out tonight. For the most part, things over the last several months along the Hawthorne Lane Bridge have been smooth sailing. But if you talk to the people that live nearby, you get a sense that there's still quite a bit left over. It's been difficult, and it's been difficult due to the lack of city oversight and involvement. Morgan Williams has lived in the area for the last 14 years, but he says the last few years has been a literal headache with a bridge project and now what lingers. We pointed out the same issues over and over again and again about the safety issues concerning the bridge, right, and multiple safety issues within our community, and they still remain unresolved. Fox 46 has been following the progress of this project for years. In fact, we spoke with Williams a couple of years back when Hawthorne Lane was still closed. It was a problem then, and the problems are with more than just the bridge. Things like incomplete sidewalks or broken sidewalks. We've dealt with bridge, uh, the bridge issue in which there's, there's wooden slats and walkways hanging off the bridge. There's incomplete fencing. We've got a whole section, uh, a one block area with on, on Hawthorne Lane that has no lighting and probably has not had lighting here for six or eight months. Williams has been taking pictures and video over time of the issues. And we went out Monday night along Hawthorne and sure enough, the lights were not on. Williams says in this area, this is a safety hazard. The area here has seen a lot of construction surrounding the Lynx Gold Line, and with all the times he and his neighbors have tried to get all this addressed, they say they are still looking for a straight answer. They can drive through this neighborhood every day, and specifically at night, and see that the work's not completed. And in the interest of full transparency, we did reach out after we got that video last night of a completely dark area here along Hawthorne Lane with some of the lights that were out here. Well, to be perfectly honest with you, uh, we, after we got that video, we reached out to the city ourselves about the issues, uh, specifically the streetlight issues along 300 block of Hawthorne. And since that email, some of those lights have actually turned on, actually for the first time in months, at least according to the neighbors that we spoke with. But some, again, still not fully on yet. We are still awaiting for an official statement from the city of Charlotte. Now we're live in Elizabeth. Derek Dunlop, Fox 46.